frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Excuse me. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. Now, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. But I think people should be allowed to. People don't want to write the, the news, you know. But if you look, but he's the one that signed the application, the very important form. He signed it. Now, if he doesn't believe in it, why would he sign it? And a lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, I'll tell you right, I'm not going to get hurt by it. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Excuse me. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. Now, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. But I think people should be allowed to. I got a letter from a doctor the other I don't think it sounds like that important. I mean, you have a man that's supposed to be, and he's a brilliant guy, number one at West Point, number one at Harvard, I believe, Harvard Law School or close. And, but he was number one at West Point, number one at Harvard Law School or very close to number one. And they're bothered because he's having somebody walk his dog, as you're telling me. I didn't know that. I didn't hear that. I didn't know about an investigation. But this is what you get with the Democrats. Here's a man supposed to be negotiating war and peace with major, major countries, with weaponry like the world has never seen before. And the Democrats and the fake news media, they're interested in a man who's walking their dog. And maybe he's busy. And maybe he's negotiating with Kim Jong-un, OK, about nuclear weapons, so that he'd say, please, could you walk my dog? Do you mind walking my dog? I'm talking to Kim Jong-un, or I'm talking to President Xi about paying us for some of the damage they've caused to the world and to us. Please walk my dog. To who? A Secret Service person or somebody, right? I don't know. I think this country has a long way to go. They, they, the priorities are really screwed up. He's a high-quality person, Mike. He's a very high-quality, he's a very brilliant guy. And now I have you uh, telling me about dog walking, washing dishes. And you know what? I'd rather have him on the phone with some world leader than have him wash dishes because maybe his wife isn't there or his kids are there. You know, what are you telling me? It's terrible. It's so stupid. You know how stupid that sounds to the world?